Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn how to launch process with PowerShell. We are going to use a sub process run and which will include a few different commands change together by piping the various pieces of this command will be PowerShell. So first we are going to just import sub process. And then I'm going to define a function. Create process. And we are going to pass in the name of the process. I'm going to open a notepad. And this will be our PowerShell. This PowerShell over here is the terminal command that we want to run. And then we have this command uh, in fork WMI method in 32 process. This argument states that we want to run one of PowerShell's process command and WMI is uh, Windows Management Instrumentation, which is designed to simplify the life of system administrators. Then we have name create. This identifies the specific action that we want to perform, such as process creation. So we are going to type name create. Then we are going to add the argument list. We are going to pass a single argument to this PowerShell function, the command that we want executed within the new process. For example, running notepad. So I'm going to add argument list and this will be notepad.exe and we are going to pipe into select process ID to select the process ID the select process ID uh, selects the process ID attribute PID of the newly run process and And this over here will get the value of the current value in the pipeline, for example, process ID, and prepares it for passing to write host to print to our console. So. This will be pipe to write host.
now we are going to pass in the command to our create process function so this would be uh, we are going to first uh, create a sub process so this will be a sub process dot run and this will be our command that we are going to set and this command will be uh, notepad.exe so we're here I'm just gonna add command and then set shell to true and we are going to capture output set to true and then we are going to check if process return code is set to zero equal to zero and we successfully created the process so we are going to print out the message process created with PowerShell and then the process ID we are going to print it the name of the process process to the standard app we are going to use the decoding UDF8 and now we can set the command to And now we are going to call our process create process and pass in our command there is a s missing over here so this will be and we can run our code again And here we get the process notepad.exe created with the PowerShell and PID. And here is the PID. And this will uh, create a new process and notepad should open. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code. Like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.